Does she have the guts to take on powerful special interests? No, she doesn't. She is a corporate Democrat uh, who has, in fact, along with Senator Manchin, sabotaged enormously important legislation. The Democrats there are not all that enthusiastic about somebody who helps sabotage some of the most important legislation that protects the interests uh, of working families and voting rights and, and so forth. Bernie Sanders torched disastrous Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema after she decided to make herself the center of attention again. You're here to make a significant announcement. I've registered as an Arizona independent. I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, a growing number of Arizonans and people like me just don't feel like we fit neatly into one party's box or the other. What I think is important about this decision and, and this move is that I'll be able to show up to work every day as an independent. Her snotty announcement prompted this response from Sanders and other progressives. What do you think of her decision and also what you just heard in her interview with Jake? I don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, on Senator Sinema. She has her reasons. Uh, Donna, I happen to suspect that it's probably a lot to do uh, with politics back in Arizona. Would you support a Democratic opponent against Senator Sinema? I, I, don't, I, I support progressive candidates all over this country, people who have the guts to take on powerful special interests. I don't know what's going to be happening in Arizona. We'll see who they nominate, but certainly that's something I will take a hard look at. Jamal Bowman tweeted the following, by Felicia, after <laughs> news broke about cinema. You know, I think that in Arizona, this is going to be a difficult election if it's a three-way race. Um, but I really think that I have a lot of faith in the voters of Arizona to understand who is going to vote who is going to work for them, and let's see what the next two years bring. The day after Election Day, Senator Kirsten Sinema tweeted for voters to stay patient as votes are counted, stating, quote, democracy is worth the wait, to which you replied, quote, thanks for all of your help this year. She did nothing because she only cares about herself. Uh, she doesn't care about how this would help you know, us take control of the Senate. She actually predicted that we'd lose control of the Senate in front of Mitch McConnell uh, while she was getting a war from him. So, so as you all know, control changes between the House and the Senate every couple of years. It's likely to change again in just a few weeks, right? But despite our apparent differences, Senator McConnell and I have forged a friendship. As you can tell, I have a very high opinion of the Senate from Arizona. In my view, and I've told her this before, the most effective first-term senator I've seen in my time in the Senate. I know some people might be a little bit surprised by this, but actually, I think it makes a lot of sense. As part of our great Republican tax cuts. Ms. Cinema, Ms. Cinema, no.